What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So earlier this morning, we got a pretty interesting tweet from Team Dokkaner that essentially told us that a Dokkan Fest hit would be the Christmas celebration banner on Global. Well, I think the actual wording was something like a particular assassin is making his way to Global for Christmas and this time he's going to be well respected. Now to me, that sounds like it's going to be a very good card for hit, which is unheard of because every other hit card in this game so far has been shafted. So for once, our man hit is finally getting the respect he deserves and he by all means is going to be a very, very good card. Now personally, I am extremely excited about this. I love hit as a character and I was honestly kind of expecting this anyways because we knew that we weren't getting Broly and Gogeta blue until after the new year so sometime in January which we'll talk about later on we'll talk about exactly when we expect that celebration and the banner to drop for them but for now I am happy about this like personally the fact that we are getting a brand new character as opposed to just a Dokkan Fest unit that was already on JP and it's going to be a global exclusive for a while and by all means should be a very good card I'm happy about but I know that a lot of people are a little bit iffy about it I mean of course when you're comparing it to the hype of the Broly movie characters like Ochita Blue and the new Broly, yeah, it's not as hype. But for those of you who are like a little bit eh, unsure about it, a little bit disappointed, I'm gonna try to make things a little bit better for you. So, first things first, if you are a Hit fan, then you're lit, you're happy, because obviously one of your favorite characters is finally getting a good card in this game, right? Which is great. But if you're not a Hit fan and Hit himself is not super hype for you, it's still okay because I feel like the banner should be very, very hype even if like Hit himself isn't hype for you. So the banner, let's talk about it, right? Potential banner for Hit is something like a lot of category leads, maybe some 120 leads, but all top tier characters overall. And the reason I say that is because that's kind of been the trend for Christmas celebrations because Christmas is supposed to be this huge time for a lot of gacha games. Well, I think all gacha games in general, it's just a big, big time for them to make a lot of profit. People have some expendable or extra disposable income that they're willing to spend on these games. So they always try to make it as hype as possible. So for that reason, I know this banner, even though Hit himself might not be that hype for people, it's still gonna be a great banner with a lot of awesome fillers. So for example, let's say we have Hit with like Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, which we haven't seen in a second. Um, maybe AGL Turles, who we haven't seen on Global since his original Dokkan Fest banner, as well as in like STR Rose. Maybe uh, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, even though he was already here for the last banner. So I'm not sure about that one. I hope so, because I still need Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. So maybe that's just wishful thinking on my end. But what I'm trying to say is it's going to have a lot of great category leads. It's going to be a very, very high value banner. And what we can also expect is the same thing that we got last year, which are tickets for that banner as well. So I think last year something like every multi summon you got between somewhere something like four to six tickets or two to six or two to ten or something like that. I don't exactly remember the range. I think most of the time you got two. But if you did a multi with those tickets on a separate ticket banner, so the exact same banner, just with tickets, then you got a guaranteed SSR. It was a guaranteed featured SSR as well. So last year it was UI Goku and a lot of people got UI Goku really easily and also multiple dupes because of that GSSR ticket feature. So I fully expect that to be a thing this year as well. So so aside from the banner just being really good, the tickets will make it extra, extra valuable because of that guaranteed featured SSR. Now I'm not saying it's guaranteed to happen, but just based off last year, I don't feel like they would go back on it because people would be really pissed about that, right? So expect a very, very good banner for Hit as well as, uh, oh, I didn't even talk about Hit himself. I think he's gonna be a great unit. I really do because just based off the trend of the last couple of Dokkan Fest units on JP, they've all been extremely good. And this one is a brand new one that JP hasn't even gotten yet. So I can only expect him to follow that trend. He's gonna have awesome looking super attacks, I'm sure. And uh, really good leader skill, really good passive and everything like that. Now, as far as his leader skill goes, it's kind of up in the air, right? It could be a completely new category for, for just him, where he brings a completely new category we've never seen before, something like Universe 6 Representatives, or I think someone even said it, it could be something like Continuous Improvement, so characters that are always improving, always powering up. But I honestly feel like we're going to go with an existing category for his leader skill, where they're going to go with, Bandai's going to go with it. I, mean, I almost sound like I'm a Bandai spy there, but I'm not, I promise. <laughs> I, I don't mean we as in me and Bandai are working together, I just mean, you okay. Moving on. <laughs> Basically, I feel like Bandai is going to go with an existing category, but just give him a boosted leader skill. So 
let's say, um, I think Universe Survival Saga probably makes no sense as far as an existing category goes. And I feel like he's gonna have like 170% attack, 130% defense and HP. Or they could just go crazy if they want to make him extra hype and go 170% to all three stats. Now, you guys know that Universe Survival Saga is a very, very good category. And with Jiren's leader skill already, it's fantastic. So imagine having even higher percentages on those units that are already in the category. Um, that would make him awesome. Like, that would be a great leader skill. And personally, I don't even have Jiren. So obviously, that would be awesome for me to use him as a replacement for Jiren to run that Universe Survival Saga team finally. But that's besides the point. What I'm trying to say overall is that even if you're not hyped for Hit as a character and you're not really feeling this Christmas banner that we're about to get, I'm just saying, like, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good celebration. We're gonna get a lot of free stones and the banner should be awesome. And I still, I would probably recommend people even not seeing the banner now. I could probably feel like 95% confident to recommend people to spend at least 200 to 300 stones, you know, four to six multis and test your luck and probably pull a decent amount of really top tier units in this game because it's always like that with Christmas celebrations. So yeah, I feel good about it. It's going to be a great banner. Um, it's going to be a great unit if, as far as hit goes and I'm sure that his category, whatever it is, or his leader skill overall, it's going to be great as well. So. It's gonna be solid. I mean, <laughs> that's just my opinion. I know some people are not gonna agree, so let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this whole thing with Hit, uh, whether or not you agree with my opinion that even if Hit himself is not that hype, even though he's hyped to me, um, the banner will still be awesome. It's still gonna be a great celebration, or are you just like super pessimistic and you're like, whatever, man, you can say whatever you want. I don't care. I'm skipping. I'm using the time skip on this celebration, <laughs> and we're gonna save for Broly and Gogeta, which is totally cool. That makes a lot of sense, too. It's totally up to you guys. Now, let's move on to the second part of this video and the second topic I wanna talk about, which is now that we know Hit is coming to global in the next couple of weeks. Of course, that means that Broly and Gogeta are not gonna be a thing on Global, which is what we kind of expected anyways. It, it seemed like it was pretty much confirmed that they were waiting for the uh, international release of the Broly movie, the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, to release the celebration on the global version of Dokkan. And now it's even further confirmed, I guess, for the fact that we are getting hit. So let's predict let's just talk about quickly um when we can expect to see these guys the broly and the gogeta on global so for jp what happened was the day that the movie was released in japan which is december 14th is the day that the celebration for the broly movie started on jp dokkan and that was the 14th right so if you go by that logic, I looked up right before this movie, or right before this video started, when exactly the international release of the Broly movie was going to be, and it's going to be on January 16th, at least in North America. I don't know if it's different for other countries, but I feel like North, you know, the US being the probably second biggest market for Dragon Ball Z fans. Long story short, what I'm trying to say is that they're probably going to start the Broly movie celebration on Global on January 16th, which is when the movie is released internationally. And of course, that doesn't mean that Broly himself, as well as Gogeta Blue, the summonable versions of those units are gonna be released at that time, because obviously when the celebration started on JP, they didn't get those units immediately. They don't even have those units now. It seems like they're gonna come for the second part of the celebration, which is probably gonna be in like a week or so. So by that logic, then uh, Global will probably be getting the celebration with a new Broly movie story event as well as the new free-to-play units on January 16th and then about a week, maybe a week and a half later at the end of January is when the second part of the celebration would start and we'll get the Gogeta Blue and the Broly summonable units um, we still don't know what they are, what they are, what they look like, uh, what they do, anything like that. So more details to come for that. But that's that's what I feel. I feel like that's kind of the timeline that they're, they're gonna follow because it makes sense considering what JP is doing right now. And yeah, I mean that's that's just what I think. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys agree or you think that's gonna be something completely different. But I do think it makes a lot of sense. Of course, I want to make it clear that. I don't have any insider information, this is all speculation, I could be totally, totally wrong, but uh, yeah, it's just my opinion, so 
that's gonna pretty much do it for the video, guys. If you guys, you know, didn't want to watch the whole thing, didn't want to see me ramble for like 15, 20 minutes, or however long this video is gonna end up being, then too long didn't watch the short version of this story is that I think the hit is going to be very good, even if people aren't that excited about him. I think that his category is gonna be solid, especially if it's an existing category like Universe Survival Saga, which is very, very good. And uh, I also think that his banner is gonna be amazing. So overall, it's gonna be a great celebration for Christmas on Global. We're good, we're good guys, don't worry, it's gonna be fine. And uh, as far as when Broly and Gogeta Blue are gonna be released on Global, I feel like the end of January makes a lot of sense. And of course, that would mean that the uh, actual celebration to kind of hype up the movie will start on the day of the international release of the movie, which is January 16th. So there you go, guys. That's all I want to talk about in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, let me know your opinions in the comments down below. I'd love to have a conversation about it, whether you agree with me or disagree with me. It's totally cool. It's, it's always like that, you know, there's always going to be people that are on both sides of the conversation. So let me know in the comments down below which side you're on for that. And that's going to do it. As always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.